Santa Trinitas Unos Deus, Misericórdia, Santa Maria, Mora do Pai, Santa Dei Genitrix, Mora do Pai, Santa Vigo Virginum, Mora do Pai, Santa Micael Gabriel et Rafael, Mora do Pai, Omne Santi. Today, I want to call your attention to this image which you're viewing. This image to Catholics is the image of the three virtues. For us as Voudouisa, we refer to them as the Trois Femmes d'Egypte or the Marasatwa. Now, according to Catholics, they say that these, some would say that these are the image which represents the daughters of Sophia, Saint Sophia. And their names were faith, hope, and charity, or faith, hope, and love. The story goes like this for, for, for people that are unfamiliar with the Catholic story. They say that these three children at one time lived. And what happened was there was an emperor at the time that wanted these children to serve their deity, which was referred to as Artemis. The children declined because they were Christian. You know, so they were followers of Christ. What happened was the emperor was not too happy or pleased with that. He had these children tortured to death. So, when we see this in voodoo, we kind of have a different take on what these spirits represent or the image represents. You know, now when we start delving deep into the mysteries, because in Catholicism, that is the end of the story. Now for Voodooism, what we have done was we have tuned into the image as a doorway to the other side and realize the nature of these spirits. When an individual dies in a horrific way, to many occultists, they may refer to those souls as being restless. And they're not the most peaceful spirits. You know, a lot of people have an understanding and knowledge that I work with a lot of intranquil spirits. Well, in the category of the Trois Femmes d'Egypte, we can put them in that same category as well. Whether the story which I mentioned previously was real or whether it's a work of fiction, it is still giving us an understanding of what we're dealing with. So when we summon these particular spirits or we conjure them, we realize that sometimes they can be more than we bargained for. They can be very demanding, very controlling as well. There's a lot of people that dip and dabble and then they realize, holy smoke, this is not what I signed up for. The Mahasatwa can be a manager or they can be a tormentor. That depends how you want it. Everyone has a choice before they deal with the Mahasatwa. Because if you want to deal with the Mahasatwa, they are going to make a offer to you. And it is up to you whether or not you want to take that offer or not. Because now I want you to understand this. When you accept that offer, you are putting yourself in a position where you are in a contract with these spirits. And if you do not pay, what you owe, you will suffer. Now, moving away from the aggressive nature of these particular spirits, I have to say this there. It is good in working with the Marasatwa, or rather I say, the Trois Femmes d'Egypte. Now, the good that comes from working 
or having these spirits in your presence or on your side is that you realize the nature of deception. Your eyes become very sharp and keen and able to sort out those who live in deception, those who want to bring deception your way, or those who want to deceive you, rather I say. The, ma the marasatwa, their eyes never blink because they live in truth. To work with the marasatwa, you have to walk in truth. You can't waver, you can't mix, you can't be wishy-washy. Your heart has to be clean. Now, there's many people that say, oh, you cannot bring women around Marasatwa. You cannot bring this and that. You can't bring... Yeah, no, 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 no. Let me explain something to you people. Your heart has to be clean. Their heart has to be clean. Their intentions have to to be pure. This is why you see a heart in the image in front of the three sisters. The individual's heart has to be clean. They cannot come with ulterior motives or hidden intentions because the ma'asatwa will expose them. This brings us back to the, 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 the name Toi, femme d'Egypte. What does this mean? In the name Toi, femme d'Egypte, you have a deep mystery. You can see the Trinity in the three names that I'm going to give you. Or the breaking down of the name Toi, femme d'Egypte. Because if we're not looking at the spelling, Toi, femme d'Egypte, you can have that as three women of Egypt. You have trois femmes d'Egypte. You can have three women, two dresses. You have trois femmes d'Egypte, three women of the dress. In this mystery of mystery, we can look at the dress as being a garment which covers us from harm. It covers us from all the problems of the world when we come to the magasatwa it is like we are entering into another dimension we are stepping into a world that shuts us off from the outside world and this world that we live in is a world that's heavenly heavily heavily guarded so when those who are in the world try to penetrate that protection that you have around you they get hurt they get destroyed because once you enter in the midst of the magasatwa no one is supposed to enter to disturb the peace that they're providing for you see the magasatwa are some would say they're very controlling and this is so and this is what you should know before you desire to get in contact with these particular esprits now, another thing I want to stress is that with the Mahasatwa, they reveal to you the nature of vices. Each vice correlates to a body part. If you steal, it is your hands. If you lie, it is what you see. You are bearing false witness against your neighbor. So what happens in a situation like this? When you do these things, the retaliation is going to be to on those associated parts of the body. The Mahasatwa, we can look at them as spirits that are here, that have a business arrangement with you. If you do not pay, there's of course going to be consequences. Whatever they bestow in your life, they're going to take back. So if you have a car, if they bestowed you with a car, well, hey, you're going to get into an accident. That car is going to be totaled. The Mahasatwa do not play. With the Mahasatwa, you also have to keep in mind that they are very hot spirits. Their blood is like gasoline. These are not spirits that you want to take lightly. If you are an individual that's looking to work with the Mahasatwa, they are very possessive. 
you know, once you sign up with them, once you, <laughs> you put a contract in motion with them, you become their property. The Mahasatwa attacks are very abrupt and violent. When you're working with the Mahasatwa, you have to dot all your I's and cross all your T's. This is not just something that you just start up with and, you know, hey, you know, I'm just going to quit whenever I want to. When it comes down to the Mahasatwa, you have to understand this, that with the Mahasatwa, they do not take responsibility for anything that happens to you once you cross them. Because the way things will occur, you will see, it will appear to you as if you did it to yourself. So, I say to you people that are interested and curious about working with these particular spirits, be cautious and think about whatever it is, what uh, agreement that you want to make with them before you go and do it irrationally. With that said, I thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Santa Trinitas Unos Deus, Miserabilis, Santa Maria, Mora Domobis, Santa Dei Genitrix, Mora Domobis, Santa Vigo Vigino, Mora Domobis, Santi Micael, Gabriel et Rafael, ora per Domus, Omnes Santi 